Welcome to Marsha's Medical Metaphors. Today, we are in our kitchen where we will use cooking as a metaphor to explore God's miraculous world of our body. Our topic today is glucose. More specifically, we are going to explore the transport of glucose into the cells of our body. Now, why is this important? Well, because when you eat a high carbohydrate meal, the glucose you eat enters the bloodstream and then it enters into every cell of your body. This is how it functions normally. To do this, your body has special transporters called glut transporters. These transporters are the focus of our discussion today. So, how are we going to explore this idea of how glucose enters your body? Today we are going to use the concepts of a cupcake recipe to demonstrate this very important process. So let us first talk about the terms that you will learn today. Some of them may seem foreign now, but by the end, they will be no brainers. We will consider these terms throughout our discussion. We can consider them as the ingredients. They are GLUT1, GLUT2, GLUT3, and GLUT4. Again, we will go over each of these terms, so no worries. Now, we will address the equipment that we will need to make our cupcakes, which will help us to explain the process of glucotransporters. The first piece of equipment that we will use is the glucose, a nice large batch. It is like our cupcake batter filled with sugar. I should mention that glucose, which is a sugar, a monosaccharide, is used to enter this pathway, but galactose and fructose can also be used. Next, we need a baking pan. The baking pan is for our cupcakes, but the baking pan can represent the various cells in your body that glucose will pour into. And lastly, we have the funnels. The funnels represent the glu glut transporters that will be used to pour the glucose into the cells. Notice that we have four different funnel sizes. This is because we have four types of glut transporters that bring glucose from the bloodstream into your cells. Now, the four pans represent types of cells in your body. The first pan, it represents most tissues in your body and it also includes your brain cells and your red blood cells. GLUT1 is the transporter that is going to transport glucose from the blood into these types of cells. Now the second pan represents your liver and pancreatic beta cells. GLUT2 is the transporter that transports glucose into these types of cells. The third pan represents most tissues in your body. Now GLUT3 is used to transport the glucose into these types of cells. The last pan represents your skeletal muscle and adipose tissue. GLUT4 is used to transport glucose into these cells. So, how well did we learn today? Perhaps one final question can help us to know. This is a glut transporter. Based on some information I'm going to give to you, please state which transporter it is. This tra glut transporter is located in most tissues of the body and includes the brain cells and the red blood cells. Correct. This cell is the GLUT1 transporter. Good job for trying your best. May God continue to bless you one day at a time. Peace.